It's, we are here in uh, Capitol Reef a National Park in Utah, and this is the Chimney Rock Trail. We're going to go up and uh, check it out, do this loop, and then we're going to go off into the canyon. Look at these magnificent red cliffs behind me. I'm not sure if I picked the right uh, color of uh, clothing to contrast this with my red. I'm probably just like blending right in. Finished with the chimney rock loop and on over to spring. Canyon. This, this is my home. This is Utah. Oh man. Just amazing. We got some pretty hardened snow over the little creek that's running down here. getting interesting came down into the riverbed Brittany stayed up high with the Karens so we're just about seven miles in. I think if my math is correct, we're gonna be roughly around 10 miles to where we come back out at the highway. We're gonna to have to cross the Fremont River and uh, depending on how high it is, I didn't necessarily check. We'll determine if we're gonna turn around and run the 10 miles back or kind of take a alternate route on the highway and do a couple more trails along near the visitor center on our way back to the uh, the trailhead where we parked. As you can see, it is just towering, towering cliffs around us, going through a nice riverbed, winding through the rocks, and we're just over two hours in. So making good time, taking lots of pictures. Oh my gosh, it's like every time you come around a corner, you just want to take more pictures. But this is quite a fun adventure.
just coming up on hour three and what I've been doing is I've been taking nutrition on the hour so this is my third third nutrition I'm taking in about a hundred calories every hour that might be a little bit lower than the average person um, the reason for that is I'm I've trained my body to be more fat adapted and what that does is just basically allows my body to burn more of my fat storages than my glycogen storages and so I just need you know less gl uh, glucose or less carbs to be able to maintain the energy level so hour three go ahead and take some martin gel this stuff is awesome Coming out of the canyon. Should be hitting the road soon. All right, well, we made it back to Highway 24. It's just right across the way here. But just like the guide said, we're gonna have to forge the river. Um, so just so you know, it came out to about 12 and a half miles to take the loop and take the uh, Lower Spreak, Spring Creek. And here's the uh, river we're going to have to forge. This should be fun. What do you think, babe? Mm -hmm, let's do it. So we picked a little wider spot to go across. Woo. Looks like it's up to my knees. Right here, good thing we came over to this spot. All right, this is gonna be a little faster. How you doing, babe? Good. Come on. Join me on my island. <laughs> All right. Oh, that feels so good. Woo. Okay, we're gonna come right over here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have you climb right up here. This might be a little bit Okay, good job, here. You got a little smoother than me. <laughs> so, we got six mile run back. I'm like, hey, why don't we put our thumb out and hitchhike? You know, anybody in the national park right now are good people. So, I say hitchhike. Brittany's like, no way. Six miles, we're athletes. Six miles is nothing. So I guess it's six miles of asphalt. You'll survive. <laughs>